Yo, welcome back. This is Cringy Star. So today I'm gonna do a video that I've basically stolen from Anas No Ali. <laughs> Anas made a video that was pretty, pretty good. So I thought, yeah. I'll be taking that, thank you. Be sure to check out Anis' new videos, he's been putting out bangers recently. Um, anyway, let's get straight into the video. Now, God willing, I'll be going into medicine in September, but I really want to know why not medicine? This is not to demotivate you in the slightest, and I'm gonna repeat that again, you know, just like rewinding it, and now we, I was just like rewinding it. This is not to demotivate you, but it's an eye-opener, like an optometrist, do you understand what I'm trying to say? So, hopefully that makes sense to you, don't feel demotivated, and before that, we've got a small video about liking the video coming up. Guys, you probably know what happens when you don't like the video. Basically, the video... Like the video, like the video. Like the video. Yeah, so you get the gist. 50 video likes. Now, the first thing to realise is that medicine is exam-based, and I've heard that from Anas himself, so basically I'm just copying his script. Now the thing to realize about medicine is that it's so exam-centered. Don't think that's leaving you. Prior to entering medicine, you've probably taken the UK CAT, the BMAT, and probably a few other things if you're doing it international. However, when you start medicine, don't think that this has left you or it's a thing of the past. Now as you enter medicine, you probably have to take exams by the name of OSCE, which is like multiple choice questions. And this will determine points that you're allocated all the way up to year five, which allows you to go to certain placements closer to home if you choose to for example like you'll be able to stay in london that's what they call it so that's the reason why people take intercalations to get extra points to stay at the against like not hospice but the hospital that they want to be at so that's one thing so don't think that exams are not a part of being a doctor it's almost imperative that you love them now in your foundation years you'll have to take another exam in order to get into the course surgical training that you need to for example in the specialization that you choose to be then slapped on top of that is the mrcp which is essentially you have to take it to be registered in the royal college of surgeons you know i have to memorize that one carefully and essentially in your six to seven year journey of becoming a surgeon in a specialty you will take more exams that's like naturally or you have to take it basically no choice and you probably guessed it on top of that slapped on top of that year on year doctors need to ensure that they reach the benchmark score in an exam by the name of description box that's what it's going to be called for now because i don't remember it and basically in that exam you have to ensure that you meet the benchmark to be able to be an active practicing doctor in the uk this is for our safety don't think it's long it's for your own survival it is please please trust me now the second reason where the cringy is a little bit more comfortable to explain is that you will not be getting that p p money if you didn't know terminology slang you know now one thing to do and to make super clear is that you will not be a baller especially in your foundation years or leading up to your foundation years you can basically trust me on this one if you want to save money especially to pay off your own loan or if you choose to live by yourself if you're not applicable for the maintenance loan you're probably gonna have cereal for breakfast lunch and for dinner so you know you're gonna have to what's it called scrimp skimp simp no, simp is a cuss for a man, isn't it? So, anyway, you're gonna have to like, you're gonna have to save and sort of put things together. I don't know what these hand actions were, but you get the point. And the main sources of transport is gonna have to be, you know, these ones. You're gonna have to start using them ones a lot more, and hopefully bike as well, but it's gonna cost you a lot, especially if you don't wanna take the loan. So, guys, I'm just trying to help you out. Along with that, you'll probably be very and due to your financial situation that ain't gonna be very healthy for you so yeah man let's get on to the third tip I don't even know if that's gonna be inside the real video when I edit it if it is comment down if you get what I'm trying to say now the last final thing to be wary of is that medicine I would say primarily is for someone who really likes science if you like to know how things work and how things connect together this is the thing for you some people usually think that 100 percent is about helping people if you don't have that tenacity to learn about the biological processes and the you know the reaction of the body to certain chemicals um i don't know if this is primarily the course for you but you know you experience that you probably feel like a really crazy academic push if that's a word to use inside the course so hopefully that sort of makes up for anything so i would advise and i know this is very very cliche my nose is sort of like tingling like i'm gonna sneeze 
but you need to sort of love medicine with its science so you need to love the science aspect of medicine so i would say in terms of like proportion 50 percent science loving section as well as like 20 percent helping people 10 percent 30 percent decision making and that sort of makes up like 100 percent if the maths is correct and the copying is good from anis and annie but hopefully that's it guys so if you guys have enjoyed this video if you guys like the humor and you like the cringiness then comment down below let's get this video to 70 likes and guys you know follow up the socials and uh donate all your money to me and um you guys get what i'm trying to say mm -hmm.